Hello guys and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. And today I'm thinking to share with you this replay of two reasons. Uh, the reason number one is I never featured this uh, ship before, the Siegfried, in my channel. I do have the sister ship Ager. Ager, I do have. I like it a lot. Um, well, I believe she's a mixed bag. She's a great super cruiser. She has uh, some unique stuff, you know, like the best thing about it's uh, hydro torpedoes and very good guns. However, the biggest difference between Sigrid, it has long range, almost Bismarck secondary range and also bigger caliber guns. Probably it's also close to Bismarck's uh, or, uh, or Gneisnau's guns. So he's not uh, alone. He's the division with the St. Louis, the tier nine. Um, French cruiser and uh, the HP pool uh, it's fantastic 62,850 and this is big brother I do honestly believe guys that some people have kind of a hard to understand the game and understand some maps and also how to aim I mean this Ladies and gents, it's a big number of credits and experience, but also a big uh, number of damage. Um, and the reason why it's definitely some player kind of a misplay, I'm talking about from the enemy team, but also the key feature in this replay, it's you're still a cruiser. Um, there's a Fiji over there and the Italian uh, French, Franchicolo, Franchicolo. I do have to apologize. Anyhow, um, with some French uh, cruiser, you kind of uh, sometimes miss the, your two head and your focus by everything and everyone, and suddenly you're going down. Uh, now I have no idea. You see, they will have four or five ships. The this replay it's bug in that regard. You don't see the HP bar. The HP bar like the St. Louis uh, it's full HP in this replay in the real life lost some but I cannot see how much damage does it lost and now also uh, another cruiser this Alba Ware uh, also pushing like a madman full HP but it, it it's not full HP 9500 and 2000 uh, 1200 18 thousand all to get to that, that salvo you know that's the biggest problem with some cruiser captain they forgot you are still a cruiser and when there's like four or five ships aiming at you maybe you are going down asap um now the the enemy control really uh, good start uh, yes they lost this uh, cruiser the uh, british uh, what do you call it? The British Tier 8 cruiser. He yellow in and he paid for it. On the other hand, this captain is going. Man, there's no island, but there is a small island over here. And maybe I'm just saying it's smart to not stay in the middle so everyone can focus you. You're here. Yes, there are still one ship aiming at you, but only one, not the entire enemy team. So, lesson number two, do not go straight like the British heavy cruiser and just went and died. This is not a world of tanks. You have to think twice, man, you are still a cruiser. Where the hell can I stay? And even if you are a battleship, why be focused and farmed by everything and everyone? Now, I understand that the enemy control uh, uh, Delta and they control Bravo as well. We are good for them because it, it's ticking. Uh, this Fiji has great consumable, but not that great. Um, there is someone spotting, and what? What? Uh, do not take a closer look about the uh, minimap because minimap show you not the the truth, not a bit. So it, it will stay this type of minimap all the way to the end. Uh, so it's it's not accurate. The minimap it's kind of a buggy and so on. So, so look at this Fiji. Looks very healthy, but in real life, will receive like twenty thousand and more than a half of his HP pool is gone. Uh, remember, guys, that Siegfried has a huge, big caliber gun, not the Ager's. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Shan horse guns, but it's more like Bismarck and Gneisnau's guns. 
hard hit and you see where he aimed and he was rewarded with this Nagato plus 20,000 damage. And remember the reload of those main armament are 17 seconds so you don't have to wait like forever with 30 seconds if you're Bismarck or any other tier 8 uh, battleship. Yes you do not do quite a significant damage but remember and this is the most important your um, much higher dpm monster and you almost i know it sounds weird but you do have the uh, battleship's gums for crying out loud and of course you it makes twice as effective um, as if this ship were let's say a real battleship with 30 seconds cooldown of the main guns now the fiji definitely looks uh, he has only 4200 he lost 15,000 damage, even though he was slightly angled. So, um, yeah, on the other hand, one pen <laughs> deleted that battleship. I have no idea how much he had left. But it can, if you definitely see here the potential about this ship, it's definitely dealing big number damage. You are literally... Uh, as hard hitting as any any tier 8 uh, German battleships remember that York doing same mistake as uh, enemy Fiji and probably also showing you the hell man he is naked in that regard he has no camo when I see a cruiser uh, with no camo I definitely see that probably he's kind of a new in this game he has no credits silver or anything to put a damn camel it's no not always the case but i roughly feel this there's something going on if you have no camel on your ship remember that camel uh, gives you uh, minus four percent of dispersion from enemy shells at the same time also the concealment so it's very wise and smart and some camo also benefits gives you more credits and experience so there isn't any reason why not have any camo whatsoever even if you're trying to cam to grind or whatever uh, there isn't any point why not have a camo even if you just have this regular simple camo that you can uh, you know have an on uh, your uh, containers you know once again Lepanto I have no idea if he has this uh, HP pool or if he has less you see you receive okay receive 2000 something damage um, and the enemy actually are doing crazy uh, good uh, this team only have one destroyer and that it's the Akatsuki and the enemy team had more two more destroyers and better points they are 610 versus 420 um, so once again guys this flank is a little bit like under control on the other hand it kind of um, the friendly team kind of a struggle I really want to show you this replay because very soon he will engage several ships and definitely show you where he aims, where this captain aims and where um, and how you also angle at the same time even your big lord ship is hit. Remember this ship it's as big as a house and it has no problem whatsoever for a battleship to do significant damage but you see where he aimed? Not water line slightly higher and only one pen the dispersion was not there even though he was oh man this should be a much be better uh, aim and much better damage and yes 11,600 with the front turrets four penetration and two more pen so of course this Frederick the Great lost a chunk of um, HP pool. Um, so what I'm trying to say, guys, it's it's 
I'm I'm showing you this uh, replay uh, so just to let you know how this captain aims and aiming it's kind of important and also guys the reason which he will do significant amount of damage it's not by shooting or whatever you feel to shoot it's definitely knowing where and uh, how high high how low your uh, aiming uh, is because that ladies and gentlemen it's different between a good player and a bad player it's all about aiming it's not being in the right position at right angle yes the angle it's fantastic important but at, at the same time also your uh, aiming sometimes you have to aim a little bit higher sometimes like waterline sometimes you have to lead more and sometimes you have to lead less it's all about your uh, type of nation shells speed travel time and so on for instance the u.s battleship and some cruisers you have to lead more because they are slower shells and so on and, and the other way around the soviet uh, rail guns one pulse meter per second you don't have to uh, um, lead almost anything so yeah you have to have this feeling um, where to aim over here was very unfortunate only two over pen but guys um, one of the reason um, also um, you know i mean thinking hard what went wrong for the enemy team um they are pushing like a madman uh, i'm talking about for the um, uh, bravo at bravo there are probably three or four ships the enemy alsace has uh, three kills so far and also he killed his division friends i'm talking about the saint louis over here neptune is um, kind, of, kind of forgot that uh, siegfried and Ager has one of the best hydro in this game uh, i do believe it's close to six kilometers in hydro range right and he's a 4.3 and smoke won't not help him not even with the torpedoes or with anything and 16,100 endpoint feather is done secondary open up maybe he wants to use the uh, second uh, to torpedoes once again i have no idea how much hp pool this captain has he has definitely no uh, full hp that's for damn sure and over there i do believe it was 24 000, 26 000 damage that salvo and he deleted that so what went wrong i do believe the enemy fiji kind of a misplay and then of course the enemy uh, york misplay and over here uh, enemy tier 9 and neptune heavily misplayed and over here is the lepanto uh, misplayed uh, by reversing and very soon seriously guys one more battleship will misplay completely bad uh, i do believe he's using the he so you, you go and figure a battleship with he spamming um lepanto had a very unlucky with his salvo he's still reversing like freaking bot i don't believe he's bot you know he i don't think so but you never know 9400 and this shells ladies and gents was not enough to finish him off but i don't believe he has 20,000 hp pool he has less trust me. but just this stupid replay does not show you the truth hp pool and goodbye one pen one citadel and goodbye and that citadel roughly around 12,000 damage so that's the average uh, hp pool he had left less than 12,000 h uh, man i don't know so many sh uh, different ships and different player uh, so far kind of a misplayed and we are not done 226,000 damage one flood uh, 19 secondary hit uh, four kills two torpedo hits and this uh, captain also received high caliber confeder and dev strike um, yeah bismarck captain man it's not a premium if this will be a third person i say oh man he's a you know a wallet a warrior but 
it's a regular tech tree you have to grind so yeah i have no idea i mean the the, the guns are not even pointed at this <laughs> Ten thousand eight hundred damage that salvo so you see siegfried and he in return he received whopping 1400 so of course this is good trade you you deal 10,800 you receive 1,400 in return and now even higher four pen for whopping 13,400 and um, this replay is showing you definitely wrong how much HP pool he has he has not 50,000 much less just two latest uh, um, salvo were 22,000 make it 7,000 so there was 30,000 damage three salvo from this captain um so yeah i have no idea it, it, i really feel that they are even playing b worse than uh, than bots i i have no idea i mean i i seriously believe this bismarck uh, had uh, close to full hp but okay he i get it maybe nobody teaching him it, it's good to um, shooting with he at the start for some destroyers some light but probably not a damn smart idea shooting as a big large versus a big large uh, heavy cruiser with he you will do much much more damage if you would use the ap of course now there is someone is aiming at him and ladies and gent there's only alsace with four kills and this basement which i believe is a completely potato for me, I mean, 8,000. I mean, seriously, guys, and without saying too much, the the last six sh salvo were close, really down close to 60,000 damage. But this one probably will be the end of it. And 7,500 more, and 285,000 damage. Uh, he also received potential 1.4, 1.5, so not a whole lot. But I do believe with this kill, the game will end, guys. And okay, probably, probably not this one. However, maybe he wants to torpedo, but I don't believe he, guys, that he has enough with um, HP pool to. Um, Yeah, Bismarck is going down, and this game will, you know, end in in just a couple more seconds. And there is the goodbye, Mr. Bismarck, which for me was absolutely ridiculous to see. So, guys, 1.3 million credits uh, this captain's earn, and a lot of damage, and uh, I'm definitely showing you how to aim and how uh, strong you can be versus so many different kind of potato players because that's the only thing i can come up with guys thanks guys for watching let me know in the comment below what i think about the eager and siegfried have a good one take care and i'll catch you in the next one